Welcome back to the Milk and Cookies podcast. It's the super amazing podcast. It's absolutely everything to do with American football and nothing to do with milk and cookies. Uh, sometimes. Uh, depends on if we have cookies or milk for the day. But as always, we got Anthony, we got Frankie, Leon will be back another time. But He's without further ado, let's get into Wild Card Weekend. So um, if you haven't seen our week 18 breakdown and analysis video with Pay of Time, go check it out. Very entertaining. Um, but very interesting. Very interesting. A lot of good stuff. But right now, it is time to focus on everybody's favorite and least favorite time of the NFL season, the playoffs. And to start it off with the Leon, predictions from last week. And the predictions from last week as well. I'm just saying in general, playoffs, you know, some, you know. Okay. Yeah. So before we get into doing our predictions, let's just kind of go over the weekly records from last week that I've kind of kept a secret from everybody. And then we'll go into the all time because there's been a little bit of separation heading into the playoffs. Just a little bit though. So <laughs> last, week, last week we had a tie for first and a tie for third. With predictions? With weekly predictions, yes. So, tied for first place at 10 and 6 was Leon and Anthony. And then Frankie and I tied in third, 8 and 8. Yes. Yeah, I know. So, and honestly, as I was, when I was recording these earlier, and I was kind of like looking at it's like, oh, wow, like this is not going to be a good week. Because somehow we all finished above 500 or equal 500. Somehow. Somehow. Or barely. Barely. So, now we're getting to the all-time stuff. First place. Yeah, no. <laughs> 162, 94, and 1. Leon. Second place, 160, 96, and 1. Frankie. Third place, 158, 98, and 1. Yours truly. And mm. in last place, 140, 116, and 1. Anthony. So, as crazy as it sounds... We're heading into the final, what, the we're last four weeks, really, of football? It's then to be all sports. And then I mean, it'll be, and then we'll transition to into more every sport and then NFL offseason, but that's for February. So, six yeah. games. I'm four games behind Leon. Frankie's two games behind Leon. The games are just going to keep going further and further down, so making your predictions for the week just makes it that much more important. So, to start off, the first game of the wild card, and honestly, could be one of the best ones. The Las Vegas Raiders at the Cincinnati Bengals. And I think I already know where both of you are going to be predicting. Yeah. Huh? I'm going to say Anthony's you already going to go with the Raiders. Frankie's going to go with Cincinnati, I figured, right? Who are you going with? I don't know, but I'm just trying to confirm. Is that right? You guys? I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm going with the Bengals 31 17. All right. And Anthony, I'm going with the Raiders 27 24. Okay. And now for my predictions, because I can break this tie. So the leave. winner, the winner of the game of Cincinnati and Vegas. Winning 30, 30 to 24. The Cincinnati Bengals. So I guess Leon will join me with the Raiders. I guess so. We'll, we'll see what, if we can get his predictions before Saturday happens. So, next game on the list is we have New England at Buffalo. I got Buffalo. I do, too. I think what this is going to prove is that New England won six Super Bowls, more so from because of Tom Brady, way more so than because of Bill Belichick. New England has limitations. Buffalo does not. I'll take Buffalo. I will join you guys on Buffalo as long as Josh Allen can try and contain some of those turnovers. If he kind of turns into a turnover machine like he's been recently, I can see New England kind of coming out from behind, but at the exact same time, if they can keep under two turnovers, give me Buffalo. So, Philadelphia, Tampa Bay. I think we kind of went Tampa, into this one pretty Tampa. heated in the episode. We kind of went over a lot of aspects, but at the end of the day, all roads led to Tampa. So, Tampa, 40, Philly. 17. I'll say I'll take Tampa Bay 45 to 21. I will not be out of the game. Uh, yeah, I'm not I'll working. Take, I'll take I'll Tampa Bay. Family. Give me like 38 to 17. 
And I'll take Buffalo, I'll say 28 to uh, 18. I'll take Buffalo 30 to 20. I'll take Buffalo 17 to 14. I think it's a defensive mm-hmm. matchup. Low scoring game. I think it's going to be a very low scoring game. Low so, scoring game would be 3 nothing. Well, technically, the lowest scoring game is 2 nothing. Technically, they, 1 nothing. How do you get one point? Catch the ball in the end zone. And then you run it out of bounds through the back. That's one point. Low scoring game. Well, technically, the low scoring game would be a 0 0 tie, but whatever. That's way too technical. <laughs> this is a prediction episode, not a what if game. San Francisco at Dallas. Game of the week. I got, I got San Francisco in the upset. I'm going to take Dallas. If, okay, if Dallas wins. Who do they play next? Well, Dallas currently occupies the third seat. So, assuming that the Rams would be winning, they would be playing Tampa Bay at Tampa, assuming they beat the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm going to take Dallas 31-28. I think it's going to be a really close game that goes down to the wire. I will take Dallas. I'm, t- I'm taking San Francisco. I'll take me, give me Dallas 28-24. to Give me San Francisco 21-17. Hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Pittsburgh at Kansas City. Yeah. Ben Roethlisberger's retirement party. Yeah. No kidding. I'll take. You know the- what? You know what? No, Anthony. Don't. Anthony. Don't. Don't do that. Kansas City. There Kansas you. City, thirty-seven but to twenty. I, I I just don't want to face. That's the one team I am worried about facing, though. The Raiders. Is Kansas City when that time does come? That's because they kicked their ass twice this year. <laughs> I mean, the Raiders do lead the Bengals series 19 to 12. Yeah, yeah. Well, they lead the series one nothing this year, and they're going to make it two to nothing. So you won't have to worry about this because you want to end up playing them. It's going gonna, gonna to be one one. It's going to be one one. Sure, it will. Anthony, the Raiders are spent. They just played 70 minutes in a highly emotional game. Joe Burrow and the Bengals' offense is well rested. So too is the defense. You remember what they did to you guys the last time? Well, pretty. It's not pretty. Next. <laughs> well, all, Frankie, you're the only one that said Kansas City, and then Anthony went off on a tangent about the Raiders. So, I mean, I'll take Kansas I said Kansas City. City. Well, I know, but I didn't hear your score prediction, sir. Oh, Kansas City. They're playing the Steelers. Mm-hmm. You know what? I'm going to say this is a high-scoring game. <laughs> 47-40. Oh, What? Yeah, okay, and what, Big Ben's going to run on? Although the Steelers yards? and Chargers played a high-scoring game earlier this year, so maybe he's not totally wrong. I know, but, like, in order for that to happen, I bet Big Ben would have to, like, rush 100 yards, and I don't see that happening. I, it, could, it could happen. Big Ben can't even walk 100 yards. <laughs> yeah, without his, what, without a wheelchair? Uh, yeah, give me I mean, Kansas Dan. City. Give me Kansas City 38 you know what? I'm going to be brutal. Give me Kansas City like 38 to 10. Then the 10 points Good. I scored in, bought in garbage time. Send Jeez. Pittsburgh's ass home. Exactly. Send them back to Pittsburgh. All right. Final game of the week. Arizona at the Rams. Give me the Rams. I'll take the Rams 31-21. Okay. I'll take the Rams 37-20. I'm also going to take the Rams. Um... I don't know by how much, though. I see this as being another San Francisco-type game last week. Um, give me the Rams 20-17. to 17. That's what I'm going to say. I don't know. I feel, this, right. I feel wild card week may not be as heavy as what I would like it to be. And I realized that every single game this week I picked with Frankie, so now there's no chance of me trying to jump them. So... Well, there goes my chances of getting higher than third. But with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. That's going to be it for this week, unless we kind of do something else, maybe. Not sure yet. Um, maybe me and Frankie get a little pregame action. I would love, Raiders. I want to see a five minute video of you two just arguing with each other. Please do that. Honestly, before Saturday, I'll make sure it gets posted before Saturday. Actually, do that. I mean, that'd be fun, but what good is it really going to do? The Bengals are going to win anyway. No, they're not. Oh boy, here we go. Well, stay tuned for that. No, they're hopefully, not. Hopefully, that happens. I'll try. One that. of us, one of us will be either happy or sad. When yeah. was the last time the When was the last time the Raiders won a road playoff game? 
Ooh. When was the last time the Bengals won a Super Bowl? Shut your mouth. There we go. There we go. <laughs> the last time the Raiders won a Super Bowl, they were in Oakland. So what? At least, we haven't, cha- at least, we, at least we haven't changed cities. I did not want them to move to Vegas. Why? So they could stay in that dump that was the Oakland Coliseum? It's Oakland. That's the home century. That's where they belong. Not the dump. It was going to get rented. <laughs> renovated the A's are looking for a new stadium Jesus a new ballpark Anthony it's also worth mentioning that the last time that the Raiders won a Super Bowl we were barely even alive I was born okay you know when what was it 2002 I I was born 2002 we got crushed in that Super Bowl I that was the year I was born I was born into being a Bucks and Raider fan well technically technically it would have been in 2003 it was uh January 27th, 2003, I believe. That's right, because the Bucks won. I can have my we hopes. Born on. I was born on Do the what? I was what? I can have my hopes about this game. You can have your fine. You can you can have your hopes until around 7 38 o'clock on Saturday. And the Raiders will be winning. <laughs> Well, anyway, in, stay tuned for that episode. That's in terms of time sitting point. on the couch watching the playoffs. I'll be at the beach watching the game. I'll be in Paul. Br- you know what, Anthony? You were doing fine until you said you were going to be at the beach. I'll be in Paul Brown Stadium freezing my ass off. You're going to be there? Yeah, I've, I have season tickets. You'll be crying on your way home. Ooh. All right. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, that this episode right here, the yeah, episode, I will be crying tears of joy to win our first class no, in 31 no. years. So, anyway, again, thank you, so misery. Much, thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for whatever is going to happen between these two because by <laughs> next week, these two are not going to be friends, most likely, because of how much trash they're talking. So, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for their video that they're going to be doing. It's most they're likely going to be entertaining. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week for the divisional rounds.